Welcome to the pod. Oh, yeah. We'll be back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be honest. We have a bit of a skeleton crew today. A little bit again. No. A little bit. A little bit. That's, yeah, that's, that's okay, kind of, though. That's kind of the way it goes sometimes. Tony uh, had to go pick up his daughter. Yep. Um, he's on pickup duty this week, which, listen, I get it. It happens. Yep. Uh, Nick's feeling a little bit under the weather. We hope he feels yeah. better soon. Got an upset tummy. Poop he's got an upset pumped. tummy. He was, he was, you know... Shooting out of both ends. This he point. was. Yeah. At a can basin, Jimmy Neutron's dad. Exactly. Yep. I was never much of a Jimmy Neutron guy. I think I missed really? that boat. Yeah. I really? think I was a little Why? old for Jimmy Neutron. Really? You, you're a big Jimmy Neutron guy. I loved Jimmy. Well, I remember what <laughs> the theme song was. <laughs> Jimmy Neutron. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was like how it ended, right? Yeah, that's usually how it ended. There, Jimmy! There was a uh, brain blast. I do and remember. And then they go through the like three things that they saw. Bro, every and it's like that's how they put it together. Okay. Every single time I eat one of those little nerds clusters, I'm just expecting to have yep. a little brain blast, yep. and it never happens. No shit. Is that like what he did? Eat candy, and then he'd get super smart. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. We well, had this one uh, bubble gum. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've seen it before, I think, and you, you could chew it, chew it excessively, sure, excessively, and I believe it helped them fly. I, I forget the. Uh, the power ups that came with it, but yeah, he he did have a uh, gummy cluster, if if you will, yeah. Okay, gummy clusters. Okay, yeah. So uh, you that's learn Jimmy. Some, yeah, you learn something new every that's day. Jimmy. Uh, Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. Con man's here. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. I am. Gumpy, the lad of the lads, is out here uh, holding down Tony's seat. Thank you, Tony. At a boy. Thank, Thank you, Tony. Tony. Zeke's back there. Yep. Hell yeah, Mitt's back there. Mitt. Oh yeah. I think Bruce Brown is back there as well. What's going on, dude? Mm-hmm. And. Uh, What's his name? Uh, Bill is slithering around here somewhere. Yep. He said he's got a couple things to, you know, kind of, you know, he's got to cross some T's, dot some I's, and then he will, uh, he will stop out. in. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh-huh. Um, how's everybody's weekend? It was good. It, it was it was awesome. I had a wedding in New York City. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. I forgot we were actually just in New York. Yes, we were. Yeah, it feels it's it. For everyone, listen, we know we're a couple of days late. And yeah, we apologize feels like for that. Tuesday. It feels like Tuesday. Yeah. It does. This is, is our second day in the office. It's this Tuesday week. somewhere. Yes. Well said. In uh, different parts of the country. Uh, yeah. But, no, it was a great wedding. Uh, first New York City wedding, which is much different than any other weddings because there are places open till 5 a.m. For so sure. If yep. you want to do that, you can. I, I was not one of those people. Okay. Uh, but it was great. You know, anytime you're it, – it's weird seeing your buddies from your hometown getting married. Okay. I think it always will be, and probably because that was only the second one. But, probably. like, it, it's just – it's very interesting – Watching just because of the fact that it's like, wow, I, we went out to high school. I remember that when that guy was making people lick dog poop. Bang, yeah, <laughs> draw, draw, drawing dicks. Yeah. On, Did he you know. move? Had he moved to New York? Yeah, he's he's lived in New York since fuck twenty eighteen. So he's been there a while. But uh, as most good Bostonians do, you know, uh, get the fuck out of there, go it, to New York. It is New York or Boston. Like people, those are like exclusively the only two places people really move to. Uh, but no, it was awesome. Enjoyable wedding. F- great venue. You can't beat a good venue in New York City. No, 12 person band. Wow. That was the game changer. Okay. That is yeah. sick. 12 Four, people? 12 people. So Four f- singers. Okay. Sometimes five. Okay. And then guitar, bass, drums, sax. Oh, this baby. Guy. Oh, baby. Trumpet. Guy on the sax, though, was a fucking rock star. Yeah. Down. Real talent. No, no, no. Wow. Bald, bald head. Kind of looked like. The bad guy from Like Mike, if he was bald. Oh. Okay, Crispin Glover. There, there it is. Yeah, kind of sure. had a little bit of him in him. Um, but no, it was fantastic. Stayed in New York. Obviously, we were in New York City till Tuesday night. Yep. Uh, terrible city. But it, it, it has qualities that I are enjoyable. I don't understand the trash. So much trash. So much trash. That's what's we, new- I, we didn't even see that much trash. Well, we in so Seaport. Much trash. That is Here true. Se- Seaport is Seaport's not New York City. <laughs> Seaport yeah. is awesome. Seaport does not feel like New York City in no, any way, shape, all. or form. Like, it's not loud. You don't have to, like, worry about ambulances and shit driving by nope. constantly when you're in, like, your hotel room. It's a very quaint little piece of New York City. And there's sometimes bars and butcher shops. Yep. And and that area I think is awesome. It's just so nice. Yeah, if I were to live in New York City, I'd want to live there. I, I would never want to live in New York City. Yeah. Bottom line. I, I did live in the financial district down by Oh, Seaport. you're in Fida? Yeah. F- uh, I so what in- number is that? Is that like twelves, twelve, ten? Uh you're you're beneath the numbers, basically. I okay. mean you know how when we dro- drove there, we went to the west side, drove down and around basically the tip of the Manhattan penis. Um oh, yeah. it's because there's there for this. 
Yeah, they're. Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah, you weren't. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. coming South coming in, airport. getting to the hotel at Seaport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you you got to drive. You dot the Manhattan penis, if you will. Yes, oh, okay. Yeah, and that is because um, there isn't a ton of driving in Fadi. A lot of the roads are are uh, super old and like cobblestone and, and closed. To like traffic they are now. in Seaport. Mm. Yes. Um, the thing with Seaport, summer packed with tourists, hot spot to stay that for makes sense. all of the foreigners and such. Winter when we were there. Absolutely dead. Crickets the whole off season, if you will. So it is kind of like a like a touristy enclave of the city itself. Had yeah. you been to Seaport before we went there, Bruce? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, big time. Um in the summer there's, you know, outdoor bars and when I met you in the summer. summer. In the seaport district. <laughs> Uh, why do you say have have you ever been to Seaport, bro? I was just wondering because he took us to a butcher shop for drinks. Um, yeah, Bruce? I mean, I've been getting this, I've been getting shit on for for this a lot. So in front of Pier oh, Seventeen, no, this, to no, be no, fair, no, no. and you would you would admit it too, it is a tough look. I, uh, if, I don't if it happened to me so. in Boston, I well, okay. Okay, okay. I really don't think so. I was not. Expand. Oh, okay. So uh, before he goes, into no, this, no, I'm going to say this. I have a place we could go. Let's go to this place. That is not what happened. And it's a butcher shop. This was so Sunday ahead. night. Yes. Uh, no, this no. was this was Monday. Monday, Monday. Oh, so, Before dinner. So we were at Pier Seventeen, obviously. Um, in front of Pier Seventeen was a building, the tin like, roof building, the tin building. Yeah, and that had been under construction the whole time that I lived. Sure, sure, around sure, 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 sure. So we were in a shitty little bar, a uh, tiny bar, not enough space for everybody to. Uh, you know, stand to be kind comfortable, lay out, if you will. get a drink. <laughs> um, and I said, hey, guys, this tiny little bar kind of fucking stinks. We should go check out that tin building across the street because I'd never been in it. I just wanted to check it out. Oh, wow. And I, this is a much different story. Yeah. This, that's because this didn't happen. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I did <laughs> assume, based on looking at it when we were walking by it, that there was a nice, like, a la the Smith, if you will. I, I don't know if you guys sure, ever yeah. went there. No, Nomad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I thought there would be, like, like the Smith light within the market, and there wasn't. So, So he sorry. walked us in this building like he thought he knew there was a bar in the Yes. Bar. And we followed him all the way to the I thought there. Pastrami. I thought there was a bar. I mean, God. See, that's the thing about, like... Like going to the city, like you though, know, like you just you just go check shit out, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, you're not like God. There better be six chairs for us to get jacked. <laughs> no, no, and it wasn't it was like <laughs> like yeah. That's not what the <laughs> city is. If you were is. with your girlfriend and you're walking around, you're like, let's go check this out. It's different when you're walking with six guys and you said we're going to a bar. Like I wish Debo would have told me what that secret bar was for. <laughs> Oh the, yeah, you went there, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, we yeah. we did find ourselves a nice little slash Indianapolis, which was theater. an empty bar above a movie theater. That place was very yeah, nice, great felt, espresso martini. Felt like I was back here. I, I did enjoy that bar um, a lot, and I enjoyed it even more because Fox she was like, "Hey, uh, <laughs> call me when you get there," because it's kind of hard. Yeah, it's to super find. confusing. <laughs> I saw it immediately. <laughs> yeah. Just normal, normal city bar. On the second floor of some place, but did you go through the movie theater like us? I did not. I uh, just saw the door, walked in, saw the like the thing that was like up here. Like, All right, figured I'm it going out up there. Yeah, <laughs> see you guys up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You did find us really quick. Yeah, New York was fun though. It was. It was. Sweet. It was. I, I enjoyed it a lot. New York always a good time for a couple days. The helicopter yes. ride was. Oh yeah, but no, that was fucking sweet. That was my cool. first helicopter ride. Me too, and probably my last. To be really? Yeah. yeah. Really? I loved me I, and Connor were fucking I having a so laugh easy. up there. I love it. No, dude, it's it's not just like. Did you, <laughs> did you talk through the thing? Uh, yeah, we we were talking. <laughs> Gentlemen, and, and I, was saying, I told hey, Bruce. Look, it's the Freedom Tower. I told Bruce this. The 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 thing that really. Because, like, you know, I j- just anxiety in general, sure. just because you, you know, Kobe Bryant, that kind of stuff. And I like don't that. like flying. Ex- me neither. You don't I, like I hate flying. I know that, yeah. <clears throat> so that's the first thing that gets in your head. And we were the last uh, chopper to take off. So mm-hmm. it's me, Zito, and Bruce, and you guys had already taken off. I hit you with a, what, how do you think they'll remember us? No, and I just laughed and I was like, shut the fuck up, dude. Like, you know, I was like, shut the fuck up. Like, we've been here all day, too. Like, I'm just, I'm ready to get yeah, home. I'm shot. tired of shit. I've yeah. drank like four days in a row. Yeah. Like, I'm just, I'm ready to get home. Big pop out of me. And uh, the, the guy who, uh, like ran the joint, who was like, you know, standing yeah, the, right yeah, here. Yeah, the concierge. Yeah, the concierge, if you will. Uh, as we're leaving, he, cause, 
D Butt went with us and wasn't originally on the the manifest. I don't mm-hmm. think he was like, "What was that guy's name?" Uh, he was like, "We have one extra guy. I don't know, like you know, what was it?" And Bruce was like, "Oh, it's you know Darius Butler. I'm guessing he probably wasn't on there." He's like, "Right, right." He's like, "Just you know, need the guy's name in case one of these things goes down." <laughs> <What>? <laughs> no, no, no joke. Did no, he, he, he said that. Did he he not- like- He's like, it, it never happens. You no, know, no, no. That's so he said <laughs> which that, which is a confirmed lie. Like it has. Yeah, exa- happened. exactly. He said that, and I was like, uh, not what I want to fucking hear before I'm getting on this thing. He's like, no, 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 it never happens. No matter what anyone says, it's safer than ice skating in your bathtub. Is that, <laughs> yeah. did that did he was actually say that. Yeah, that, that, is what, that, that is what. That is what. So just That's like, not safe. First of all. What the fuck? You're skating in your tub, you'd fall and crack your head off. Yeah, exactly. Right. But just, you know, like, even if you have, like, the tiniest bit of anxiety, yes, yes. and that's what you fucking say, right? Like, it was literally... A Walking mi- out there. It was a minute and a half before we got on this thing. And then, like, like we were saying, you know, like, I understand they have to do it, but... Uh, the pilot's like, you know, yeah, getting in there. If this thing goes down, life jacket's right behind you guys. And, and that's what me and Bruce were saying. Like, well, you know, he realistically should have said, like, if this thing goes down, don't worry about the life jackets because we are all immediately <laughs> fucking dead. Like, yeah. yeah, exactly. It, it is a preposterous mode of flying. Like, yeah. just so ridiculous. I agree. Wait, is this like, were, were you guys tight quarters? Because yours yeah, we we were yeah, much knee, bigger than ours. We were knee to knee. Yeah, so, we were so snug. Right. We were too, yeah. but your chopper was, like, bigger than ours. See, I don't know. I felt like ours was the smallest, and that's. What Did I you was get like. on like the gray and red one? <laughs> Did you? See no, the one, the one you right there. Picture? No, no. Oh, there, was yeah. another, there was another one. That over picture there. was we phenomenal. Were, yeah. We were all on the same. We were all in the same boat then because Dude, I, so I was so nervous. And I was pissed when we, when we got on ours. Awesome. I was like, "Fuck!" Because you, I thought you guys were getting on the. Yeah, the big I, oh, one. no, no, no. The one that was right in front? Yes. Yeah. That was none of them. I Nobody thought that's what you were that. doing, yeah. And it was, like, you know, when you, when you get up there and you can actually see the city and it's all lit up, <laughs> yeah, like, it's very sweet. Cool. sweet. Very but also, cool. like, I, I always just get, you know, like, you see the the door handle, and when you're banking on those things, it feels like you're falling. To the, I was like, I'm gonna accidentally like open this thing and eject Fall myself. Out. Yeah. Yeah. So they they used to have the, helicopters without doors that photographers would go up in, and then those were someone fell out. Yes, and they were just falling into the river it a is. lot. Uh, so they oh. they banned they banned the the open doors. Our our landing guy. Our that was pilot. yeah. That was the other thing when that we was started. Crazy. Like we we get down there like and weaving through parked planes. And like it's also five weird. feet. From how the cool was that though? It, it was awesome. It, it was, yeah. but it was also weird because like you see these planes on the runways like taking off and like landing, and this guy's just like hovering right. <laughs> and obviously he's on air. He's talking to air traffic control, but like. You know, it's like, okay, we're almost here. And then he just fucking whirls around for, like, three minutes, like, get you super sick before we're getting ready to get on the plane. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, oh, okay, like, we're going to... We're going to basically be like a foot off the ground and he's going to crash this thing and that's how we're going to die. Yeah, sure. I had the same thought because he did do the, uh, like... Pull up because the arrows or whatever is how they know where the fuck to go, and they pulled up and basically just parked it right in front of a runway. Yeah, real, real question I, all I could though. think of is like uh, a plane could just take off, yeah. and, and we're done. Would Dead. you rather be at that height and crash or? At oh a yeah. Oh no, that, that height. height. While we were hovering, I thought like, okay, if this thing crashes, we're gonna live. Yeah. Because like we're yeah. we're that close. I'll Maybe. break a bone, get a concussion. Unless the propeller like rips through the fucking <laughs> oh, cabin. And <laughs> yeah, but but like our pilot also said, even, <laughs> even just like thinking about that, not scientifically, that's not the word, but like that actually couldn't happen because you're directly below it. I I mean like maybe you come down on the tail and then the back thing just flies right <laughs> through the middle and just slices everybody like a fucking. Oh, you're Sausage. saying that way? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like and that's what our walkie-talkies was up. the whole time when we were flying. Just oh, see, we thoughts. were doing the opposite. Like, <laughs> this guy's fucking nasty at flying. <laughs> 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 that's what we kept doing. I, I was doing. Oh, look, Madison Square Garden. Yeah, Bruce yeah, was, yeah. you know, New York. check it out, the, check it out. That's Statue of Liberty. Look, look. Was doing the guided tour pretty much. Yeah, I just wanted to tell him to shut the fuck up the whole time. <laughs> Bruce, <laughs> Bruce, you didn't. did say though they get like that they get basically tip to tip with the phenomenal. statue. Uh, yeah, so I've done a tour around Manhattan, which was overpriced, very scary. My mom like begged me not to do it um, for <laughs> Valentine's Day one year, and they do do like a cool like kind of like swan dive turn. And buzz the Statue yeah, of Liberty. No thanks. And the view is is Han 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 special. <laughs> okay, I, I know it did. It, 
I thought it was sick because it of it. It's it awesome. It was. I'd ride again. It, it was. Yeah. Cool. But and then you go over Jersey and you're cool. like, man, Jersey stinks. Yeah. yeah. But like I said, I will never for like that guy saying that right before we got on there. I would have. I, I wanted. Been I wanted to grab him by the throat and be like, "Are you a fucking dipshit? Like, I I'm, <laughs> I I want to slam your head." He was in, a nice guy. He was, but it's saying like saying that is not dude, cool. Dude, shut you don't you don't fucking say that. <laughs> and then following it up with the yeah, ad like that. I don't care what you hear. I don't care what people say. Safer than ice skating in a bathtub. You get it? <laughs> Cuz like that be that be pretty safe, yeah. right? It's like what all a right. Dip shit. Get me on this fucking thing, Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, that, that would that, that would genuinely piss me off it to did. my core, especially it, after like like you said. You had a long Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yes. Add in so tired, slept like shit. The like, yep. hotel beds were terrible. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, my my bed was terrible. But it really? was awesome to have that well, succession. Was like, yeah, it was. It was. It was, oh, yeah. that was awesome. It was. Yeah. I always. Uh, it was cool. The I, video I have on my phone is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. The, the last one of those that crashed was uh, March eleventh of twenty eighteen. So. Okay. See, I wish he yeah. said that. that. That was right when they banned. Really? That was yeah. right when they banned the open doors. The Killed op- everyone on it, but yeah. The open doors, they would go up, no fucking doors, and it would be windy as shit. And they were just fucking tossing them around. It was like, why the hell is anybody doing this? <laughs> That's like skiing uh, in Utah. Like, yep. If you go out to, I don't know, fucking Vail. What's yeah, that yeah. Go, go heli yeah. skiing. Breckenridge. Oh, yeah, yeah, that shit is psycho. Not even uh, like the heli skiing, of course. That is nuts. I'm talking about just like the chairlifts there. Like they don't have the bars. They probably do now, but they used to just not have bars on the chairlift. You'd yeah. be going up what? and you're above the clouds and you can't even see the ground. Yeah. What chairlift are you going on? No, he, he's yeah. right. I mean, even Utah, even in, yeah. even in fucking Vermont, like, dude. Yeah, killing I, I grew up going to Smuggler's Notch. It was like they have oh, like dude, Smuggler's Notch is 70, nasty. They have seventy year old chairlifts. Fucking no, no thingy. What's the place? Alto is that the? Yeah, I've heard of it. I, yeah, that is where they had none, and they have some at Killington too. That's fucking terrifying. They even have those at Perfect North here. Um, yeah, dude. That yeah, that blows my mind. Fuck that. I would never do that. Uh, I mean. I love. I did, love but some fresh pal, but Jesus Christ, need the fresh pal. All right, uh, so yeah, that was uh, that was our weekend in that, New York. It was a lot of fun. That was um, Big Ten championship fun. Uh, yeah, it was sweet. I obviously Very got their fun. ass kicked, but I didn't expect them to win going in anyway. Uh, my brother came down for it, but yeah, it was a lot of Just, fun. Yeah, time. the real, yeah, the real see comp- Biggie. What'd you say? Got to see Biggie. Got yeah. to see Biggie. Uh, what? Robert Biggie Gallery, was, who was Biggie, fucking, was in the suite next. He was. He was Robert oh, Gallery, wow. who has, went into has the, his championship belt with he him. Did. He did. Uh, Robert Gallery went into the College Football Hall of Fame. I was in like fourth grade when he played at Iowa. Just an absolute legend. Yeah, Came up and sick. talked to us for a while. Talked with Tory Taylor, some of the other boys. So yeah, it was it was a good time. Yeah, it was a good time. It, it was awesome. crazy, honestly. Like obviously, it's what what we kind of do. But, like, Ty, you being, like, the Mr. Iowa, it does always blow my mind just being with you every day. That, yeah, like, that was honestly the like first. getting dapped up no. by, like, everyone on the field toward Taylor's, like, giving you a hug. That was the first like, time. Like, what the hell's that, going on That right was now? the first time I've ever actually had that experience. Yeah, kind of, because I haven't been back to a game at, like, Kinnick or anything like that since I moved out here. Yeah. So, so, yeah, that was pretty cool. It was very That's cool. Sweet, yeah. and, then we, and then we had a Jack Daniels. Sweet. Yeah, the Iowa's band. Then What'd you say? A, then we had a Jack Daniels drinking competition. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody won. <laughs> yeah. Finished finish two Nobody bottles. Both, both of us lost. Yeah. Uh, if we have some bones to pick here. Yeah, oh, if you have one. I, I just gave fly, my bone. Brother. It was the uh, helicopter guy. But yeah, go ahead. <laughs> uh, I got a bone to pick about the national championship game. And it's actually specifically, or not the national championship, Big Ten championship game. Specifically okay. with Bruce, actually. Okay. I was having Fire myself away. a uh, fine Saturday. I'm chilling. Oh, I Tuesday. think I know where this is going. I'm excited. Oh, oh I, was, I was through the moon. I'm playing two Okay, a couple of my buddies are like, the moon. hey, through, through, yeah. the, through moon. the moon, I'm having a great Saturday. Through the moon. It just dropped 30, I'm like, all right, let's go. In 2K? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you're hot. Jay you're hot. Oh, Jay Money, oh, Jay the basket. Oh, it was unreal. On, and then yeah. you're right. I, go, I go to the bar. I just bar. set the record Who last night for threes in a game. Yeah. I'm a little, lower, I'm a little I, slower than Connor. No, but no, you're good. I'm, I'm at the bar. It's like I, 6 o'clock-ish. I, I'm like, all right, where's my ticket for this game? Refresh. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Where's my ticket? Oh, refresh. Oh, wait. I don't have. Do I not have a ticket for this game? And then I'm just thinking, I'm like, oh, Bruce didn't send me my fucking ticket. Ooh. Oh no. And then so I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, okay, I well, like Ty probably has like a good <laughs> amount of family members. They probably needed my ticket. I don't want to text Bruce and bug wrong. him about it. <laughs> so wrong. then I just, I got kind of drunk, uh, and then Bruce texted me at like 8:05. 7:30. <laughs> okay. okay, well, you were definitely already at the game. I was sitting next to Ty. Yeah? Yeah. At the game. Yeah, we were chopping <laughs> it up. I said, "Where?" I said, where's Mitt? Fuck. 
Did you did you message Bruce and ask for the ticket? No. No, nope. I told Bruce uh, on well. Friday that I would see him tomorrow, expecting I always get the tickets. So I just thought, oh, we ran out of tickets. I didn't want to be that asshole and be like, hey, Bruce, did you give my ticket away? I no, respect Bruce that. texted me and was just like, hey, did I forget to send you your ticket? And I was oh, like, nice. oh, wait, you actually did just forget to send me my fucking ticket. And hey, now I'm just sitting here at a bar with two of my friends and not going well, to did also, you go to the game though? In that, the in, no, he did not. I did. In, in, with, within <laughs> within two no. minutes of that span, before the game had started, talking about seven thirty three to be precise, I sent you a ticket, and then you still didn't come because you were getting boozed up with the buddies. Yeah, it's a because, decent bone. I see each side. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it's a decent. Fair you you, both, the have, fun you both have a bone. You both have a bone here. here. I'm not going to show up after I've gotten completely trashed because I was mad <laughs> at you for not sending the ticket. I'm not oh, just going to yeah. show up. All right, oh, hold on, hold for on. For a little more, you got Mitt, trashed Mitt. from 7:30 to 8. <laughs> Mitt, I, I, I don't put it past her. Mitt, you get boozed up every Saturday. Don't blame that on Bruce. But this is a decent bone. Yeah. So for a little bit more context, if you will, I said everybody the Colts tickets if for the home Colts games, right? Yes. And that is that is on like its own kind of Colts it's ticket a master. Peak by Curry, huh? Ticket <laughs> master. <laughs> different platform. Portal. Um, a different platform. For the Big Ten, it's like a different portal, so Ooh. I didn't have everyone's emails and shit ported in, where on the Colts one I have everyone's email saved. So I was actually staring at the at the thing all, all like the ticket page. Um, for a good chunk of my morning, like, who the fuck am I forgetting here? It's kind of bone for the ticket um, page now. Yeah, but, yeah, man, yeah. but man, yeah. you know what you really should have done? What's that? Oh. Should have gotten your tickets <laughs> on Seeky. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> well done, That's Ad true, man. That's true. <laughs> Thank you for today's sponsor, Seeky. He's the, the best. Uh, the best ticket. I can. <laughs> and the moon. Um, <laughs> moon <man. laughs> You've seen the beautiful ticker on on Pat's show, and with over twenty eight. <laughs> man. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and, and with uh, with over with over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one ticket rated at, at number one rated ticketing <laughs> app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. Each ticket's rated on a scale of one to ten. Makes sense. Yeah, they keep cutting off the ad. <laughs> just just keep read going. the fucking ad, Bruce. Hey, hey, <laughs> Each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 to 10. <laughs> so, look, so look for green dots. That means they're good tickets. Don't buy any red tickets sometimes if you got to squeeze out a yellow ticket just to get in there. I mean, I do it all the time. Hell yeah, Bruce. Yeah, it's football Bruce. season. It's coming to an end soon. You, Go watch. You want to enjoy it? I use, do. Use code PAT30 for $30 off any football ticket. That's college, NFL. What? You name it. What if I've already used it before? Um, yeah, you probably don't get it then. Yeah, it's probably only one use, but it doesn't matter if you've purchased on Seeky. That before. that was my question. What? Yep, yeah, restrictions do apply. Okay, sounds good. All right. With that being said, uh, let's hop into the pod fod here. Let's get into the fog. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I believe what was it yesterday? I think Talk sent this in. Talk sent this oh, in. Yeah. Christ. Um, as we know from last year, <laughs> Gumpy's favorite day of the year. Little Santa Little was Santa. Uh, was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. Yeah. So December, I, six. I, December six. I'd be remiss if I didn't just first say we wish you a little Santa. We wish you a little Santa. We wish you a little Santa and a happy new year. How was Little Santa? It's great. Put your plate out. You always get a nice little gift well, there. What'd you get this year? Just a nice tarp. Okay. Ooh. Good Liverpool tarp. Ooh, yeah. I like that. Come on, boys. What? What? I mean, you doing anything else to celebrate Little Santa other than putting the plate out? Yeah, no. Nah, you just put your feet up, relax, okay. get ready for the big guy, you know? Yeah. It's just a nice warm-up. Little warm up, you know? Santa's coming to town. <laughs> little Santa's coming to town. Have you guys done Elf on a Shelf? What is Elf on a Shelf? So I'm like kind of learning exactly what it is now. It is where if you're in a household with children, uh, 
there's an elf on the shelf that they all see, and then when they wake up, the elf on the shelf has pulled a couple pranks on yeah, the or, house. Or, yeah, you just, or you just move it to different yeah. spots. Mischievous little elf. Yeah. yeah I, I always did it as a kid. It was super fun. Well, my mom always did it when I was a kid. It was super fun. You just yeah. move around the elf, and then every morning uh, in, de- in December, you're like trying to find the elf before school. Because your mom moves it, or let's not forget uh, yeah, match on the bench. Well. Yeah, match on the bench. Of course, that actually predated it. I don't know what that yep. is. I do love <laughs> Secret Santa. Secret I think Santa. Secret Santa I think Secret Santa is sweet. Me yeah. too. Yeah, very cool. I think we're doing a Secret Santa. Are, Are we? Ooh. Or Yankee Swap. That would, either one always plays. Yeah. Always plays. Love both. I that? prefer the Yankee Swap. Do you? What is the Yankee Swap? What is the Yankee Swap? Is that, Yankee well, Swap is where you all put your gifts in the middle. Uh, and you randomly yeah, I like yeah, Secret yeah. Santa because it's easier to buy. Yeah. You got you one know. person. You're getting it you for know. one person. Yeah, exactly. I, I like where it's like your present sucks and nobody wants it. And then there's a winner and a loser. That's pretty dark. Well, that's, yeah, that's true. That's, <laughs> not, that's not really <laughs> very, what Christmas yeah, is about, it's Bruce. Not. <laughs> it's not. You're, you're right. It's not. I'm guessing you got a lump of poop on your plate for Little Santa. Yes, With that I, kind of attitude. Yeah. I did actually get a lump of dog poop in my hand for little Santa. A yep. lump of coal. Well serves, you, serves you right. Well mm-hmm. done. Why do they, why, why, why did coal start as the thing you get if you're bad? I don't know. I just, just fireplace, I assume. You know, you got yeah. coal in the fireplace. Santa comes down. I said, this kid's a little fuck face. Just pull some coal out of there. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I don't know if that's actually it, but that's just kind of what my natural yeah, it, inclination. It's either that or he was using it to run the Polar Express and then... Oh. Oh, well, Santa, I love the, Polar Santa Express. doesn't drive the Polar yeah, Express. The Polar he doesn't. Express. Tom Hanks does. Yeah, but I don't know. You know, maybe it's a, sometimes it's faster. <laughs> what is your top, uh, maybe not mainstream, not, I wouldn't say not mainstream, but maybe underrated Christmas movie? Underrated Christmas movie? Four, gonna, four Christmases. Four? For I, me. I don't know if it's underrated, but it's underrated in my book. Fred Claus. Yes. Fred Claus Claus is an all time. I think Fred Claus is unbelievable. That's two Vince Vaughn's right there. Yeah. I think Vince Vaughn in general is unbelievable. Yeah. I think in terms of our generation, not a lot of people like it. I fucking love It's a Wonderful Life. It's a good movie. It's my like dad and mom. Yeah, they watch it every exactly. year. Exactly. I absolutely love it. Um, People forget that uh, Ted is kind of a Christmas movie. Ted, yep. Kinda. Yeah, sure. Uh, there is a cartoon that I used to watch every single year. It was uh, the Bernstein Bears Christmas special. Sure. All time. Uh, Brother Bear goes down like a fucking ski thing and then lands in uh, like a pool of water and gets frozen. Yeah. And Papa Bear and Mama Bear obviously have to pull them out and, you know. Of course. Thaw them out and give them some hot cocoa. Country Bears. Country Bears, obviously, starring Haley Joel Osment, mm-hmm. um, all-time movie. Uh, in Italian folklore, okay, here we go. The witch La Befana would sneak into homes to leave gifts for good children and leave lumps of coal for bad ones for the Croatians. So it looks like that is where it started. So it all, it all goes back to La Befana. La Befana, yes, I believe so. Uh, yeah, misbehaving Dutch and German kids were warned of the Krampus. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Not the Scary sort of, quote, anti-Santa. Okay. You do not want yep. the Krampus. Also leaves coal. Okay. Mm-hmm. You okay. learn something new every day. They also so there beat we go. the shit out of you with a stick. They do. Krampus. Yeah. They beat the Whoa. shit. Krampus. 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 No, that, that, that's Bell Schnickel. Krampus. Oh, yeah, you're right. That is Bell Schnickel. Yes. Krampus, Krampus is a bit of a dog. Krampus is kind of foreshadowing. Uh, a little bit. Maybe a bit, yeah. Well, yeah. So everyone, be good. Uh, if you if you didn't put your your sh- your shoes or your plate out for Little Santa, I'm sorry. Uh, but there's always next year, yep, and the December big man 6th. is still coming. Yeah. Mark it down. Mark it down. Mark it down. Big down. Santa will help. Big Santa will help. Next. Ooh, Ooh. first game you're playing, uh, and it's crazy because that ain't a PlayStation controller. That's more of an Xbox controller. It These is. are all PlayStation Two video games. Um, I, I went, oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I went through all of these, um, and there's arguments for all of them, but I, I think I'm going with NBA Street Volume 2. Yeah, yeah that that's awesome. an unbelievable game. Is FIFA Street? Do we have FIFA Street? It doesn't we look do like not. FIFA Street. Jeez. What Jeez. version? That's Tony Hawk's tough. down there. Just uh, the here. OG. Where it looks it like the Tony. first underground? Tony Proving yeah. ground. Yeah. Proving yeah. ground. Proving so ground. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eliminate that. <laughs> <laughs> NFL Street also. Oh, fuck. Why Never can't... mind. Why I'm going it... Def Jam fight for New York. That game that was, was yeah, sick. That was. That was. What's NFL? Oh. Why has he got the big on NFL Street? That's EA Big. That was their brand of all the street games. Oh, 
NFL Street was so fun. You just take Ricky Williams and yeah. jump off the wall. Yeah. Yep. SmackDown that, pretty that, sick. Yeah, the, the SmackDown versus Raw. Those games were incredible. Those games were yeah. sweet. See, I was 60, I was a 64 guy. You were? Yeah. We, uh, I was an Xbox child. We used to hang out at my buddy's gas station. There was two next to each other, and one of them, like, the garage just was used for nothing, so we would just chill in there and do hood ratchet with our friends. and. <laughs> They had the smack. He had the SmackDown on the PlayStation, and we would sit there from like nine to nine and play it the entire day. Yeah, mm-hmm. nothing better. I mean, so much fun. I am gonna I'm have to sexy say, boy. Vice City. Yeah, I was gonna say Vice it's, City. it's Vice City yeah. or San Andreas or San, yeah. in a runaway, but Vice City when that first came out, oh baby, dude, the Def Jam when you could fight yeah. like it was like Dr. Dre, yeah, versus, versus Suge Knight, yeah, exactly, so sick. That was dope. Ludacris versus Tyrese, yeah, yeah. There Before was also, they were you remember the family. G-Unit game. Oh yeah. oh yeah! Was the G? Oh yeah! Get rich or die trying. Yeah, it was yeah. unbelievable. I'm gonna tell you too. Uh, I'm surprised it's not on here, but Fight Night Round Three. Oh yeah! Oh, Any yeah. of the Fight Nights. Yeah, fight Night awesome. was a great game. I just remember game. that one, like the training. You actually had to go in the gym with like a fucking like, like a bench press. Yep. And yeah. Actually yeah. 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 Rip yep. it out. True Crime Streets of L.A. I remember playing that. That game was sick as well. What's Crash Marvel versus Capcom? Like a fight. Like a, it's like a fighting game. Like it's a like street fighter. Yeah, street kinda, bunch yeah. of like the street fighter people versus like Marvel characters. Spyro too. I, I Spyro yeah, all time. I'd have Spyro higher, but I just played it on the PS5. Okay, there I, you go. That is one of the better Mortal Kombat's too. I think that's the first time they had the tower to where you could fight your way up Ooh, in a tournament. Okay, I like that. Okay, it Very is. Cool. It is the GTA's though. Yeah, yeah. it has yeah. to be. I also, I mean, Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, you know, all timer, but Mr. Bandicoot. But yeah, it's the GTA's in a runaway next. Speaking of which, I'm Speaking guessing of, we yeah. don't have it in here, but trailer reactions to GTA 6? 2025 is tough. They're saying September 2025, too, so that's really two years. Yep. Um, but it, it's pretty crazy because they did the side-by-side shots, and it's hard to tell which one is the real world. Legit. Yeah. The like, fact that it's actually. actually only for PS5 and the next one, I love that they're doing that, so it's like it's going to look so sweet, and it's gonna the map is going to be fucking huge. Massive. Yeah. It's going to be massive. I, I can't... I, I'm okay with it being two years away. Do you think they should have waited to put out the trailer? No. I don't think. I mean, because no. people have been fucking saying, like, hey, when are we going to find out anything about this for quite some Plus, time by now? by them doing this, too, they could push that back now. Well, now Just they're going to do, they like, us a little taste. they're going to do a year and a half or however long of, like, final events for th- uh, with GTA Five now. Yeah, Just right. rake in all that money. Yeah, mm-hmm. it broke the record immediately for most views in a day on yeah. YouTube, yeah. not excluding a music Whoa. video. Fifty nine point four million. Crazy, great, crazy. crazy. In, yeah. in twenty four hours. That's oh, 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 governor style. But <laughs> nice. It is. That it's is. very similar. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, but no, that game is. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought someone was gonna jump in. I had no idea. I was trying. No, 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 that game. Hundred bucks, yeah. hundred dollars, and it should. I'm gonna play. I, I was telling Ty this after I beat Duty and I'm done with 2K for a little. I'm gonna definitely go back and beat GTA Five. Such a good story. just to play. Yeah, it yeah. is sweet. Yeah, it's a wicked fun game, and like it does stink that it's that far away. But think about to what Bill was saying. Like the lead up shit is, yeah. is gonna be sick. A bunch of new online stuff too, if you want it. Yep. Dude. And I'd rather they take. Like a, a game like this, this massive, I'd rather they take the time to make sure there aren't like fucking eight hundred thousand bugs when it first comes out. Cyberpunk. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Would like don't need that. Need it to run as you know smooth as fucking butter. Which when it Cyberpunk comes out. now, if you need a game to get you through, is a all time game yeah. since they fixed it through I, the years. I beat it on Xbox. I'm thinking about. I I it beat it on PS5. I started the that new expansions. Awesome. And then quit. Awesome. I got to circle back to Mirage. Yeah. You finished that right? Connor? Mirage is awesome. Yeah, yeah I, I got to. That, that, that was my favorite Creed game in a while because yeah. you really? actually have to be an assassin. Yeah. It made me so sad that I'm not next gen, which is really just the new, the gen. Yeah, that is tough. The the newer Creed games though, they're like wars and stuff. Like you're fighting with a bunch of people. In this one, you're just you're an assassin. It, yeah, you're, yeah, it's you're, just you. It's, it's sick. It's back singular to the true, assassin. True essence of the series. Yes. Exactly. And, it, and it, good ending. Good little kind of lead into how all that god shit got brought into the games in the early early on sets of gotcha. it. Gotcha. So almost like a prickle of the whole Remember the one the one of those it ended and it was just like a mind blowing display of like Assassin's the, Creed two. The yeah, god talks yeah. to you directly as the player. Yeah, Jupiter. Yeah. 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 Jupiter an absolute you. acid trip to close out the game. Actually I'm gonna look up right now because I, I thought <laughs> the way it ended was like the beginning of that. Okay. 
All right. Well, Connor's looking up for that. Uh, let's go next. Uh, a study says we stop discovering new music after the age of 30. A Deezer uh, survey suggests that as people age, there is a decline in music discovery with the peak age for exploring new tracks identified at 24. Around 60% of respondents reported being stuck in a musical rut consistently listening to the same songs. Yeah, this is me. to a T. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm still, not 30 I'm yet. still in there. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, Gumps is, is the exception. You just... With with Spotify, with the release radar and Discovery Weekly, like you just kind of you go through both of those. You don't yeah. really have to search. But it's it's not really like it's new artists and stuff. But it's the same kind of like genre, though, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, based off of what you listen to. Is that to. what that means, though? Like discovering new. Music. So, <laughs> oh, what do you mean? Oh, like uh, listening just, to different kinds of music? Yeah. So like you're not uh, listening to like jazz, like or I guess Bruce, Bruce is about to go shit his pants real quick. Okay, that'll be Bruce. Bruce. Yeah, Bruce. Um, <laughs> hope you, I don't know because we don't have what Nick has. Bruce. Yeah, no kidding. It says with the peak age for exploring new tracks yeah. identified oh, at 24. So I wonder if that's just like new songs. So actually. the release radar is all just new music based off what you listen to that just came out. Discover Weekly is based on like it's like the hot. What's songs. hot? It could yeah. come from anywhere though. Like yeah. it could put something that they think you would listen to from like, which is it, those are both good. Which is crazy why the Spotify DJ absolutely stinks. Wow. Yeah, the AI just either. must not be isometrically <laughs> trained enough to kind of really lock in. It, it stinks just because it's not even close. Yeah. Like a lot of the times and it's put like, songs in that's like I don't have any songs like that. And it's also legitimately whenever they hit something that I do want to listen to, it's just in my own playlist I made. Yeah. Like exactly. not, it's not finding anything new. Yeah. Release radar is good though. Release radar. Yeah, is good. they have they have good stuff. I, I like I mean, the way the DJ set up though, how it it goes into the next song. Yeah, like, I do like, like that. Fades one yeah, into the next like one. I do really yeah. like that. If so, they f- figure it out, you can set that on your Spotify. <laughs> oh, really? That, yeah, I have that, but I don't do it with the DJ. I like the DJ just because they put it in your shuffle. Yeah, like it's not like it's a separate thing. It's like okay, I'm gonna hear my songs and hear other songs. It's just those other songs have been misses. Yeah. Can't have time. it. You simply cannot have it. You can it. also do uh, on your on your own playlist, if you put shuffle, you can now put shuffle with. Yes. Which is actually pretty good. That's so every, like, about. five songs, they'll throw in a random song yeah. into Ooh. your playlist. Yeah, I don't hit that. I don't about. hit that. That's pretty cool. It might it be so- Bruce, I thought you were pooping. No, you're pissed. He's back, and he has uh, many a muffins. Donut. Oh, you got a nice little donut. Yeah, we got like a secret stash situation going on back there. There's just little bots, a just laughable. Yeah, that's, that's where that's where, effect, where Mitt, that's where Mitt hides all the good snacks. Yeah, yeah. Bonafake, fake, bona fake, bona fake. Go open up that drawer. There's those exact mini muffins in that fucking drawer, unless everybody ate them today. These little bats are almost as delicious as Factor meals. Ooh, Ooh. boy, Bruce, you're hot bat, hot bat. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, this bustling holiday season, you might need, we might be looking you for might your, <laughs> <laughs> You might be looking yeah. for nutritious, flavorful meals to fuel you on jam-packed days. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal delivery service, can help you eat well for a breakfast, what? lunch, what? and dinner. What? With yeah. chef prepared, dietitian approved. Ready to eat meals delivered straight to your door. Cross- Tell them what the best meal is, Bruce. Spaghetti. You can choose from 35 plus chef crafted meals every week to support a healthy lifestyle and meet your meal preferences, whether it's calorie smart, what? vegan and veggie, what? protein plus, what? and other wholesome <laughs> Options. Blood. Blood. Cross meal prep and off your list this holiday season with factor. Skip the meal planning, grocery Blood. shopping, chopping, <laughs> prepping, Blood. cleaning, Blood. 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 and get factors fresh, never frozen meals delivered straight to your door. They're ready in two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. You just got to eat it up and enjoy it. Uh, head to factormeals.com. You're not very good. Slash this, the pod you? 50 <laughs> and use code the pod 50 to get 50% off. That's the code. Pod 50 at factormeals.com slash the pod 50. Like Good job, Bruce. Bruce. Hell yeah. Good job. Hell yeah. Next. Hell yeah. Next. Hell yeah. Good that job. Awesome. <gasps> Today isn't totally lost, folks. What? Oh. No way. McDonald's no is way. finally bringing back the snack wrap. Is that real? After seven heinous years. Heinous. And hey, the snack wrap is back. Yes! Yeah. After seven heinous years. I know all about it, Titus. I didn't know um, it was gone for that long. Me yeah, neither. neither. Dude. I think they've done a few like 
pop-ins, but it's not like the traditional snack wrap. The I, snack wrap is phenomenal. That I is a staple. Remember, they better come back with the Big Mac snack wrap. That thing is that was atrocious. Unreal. <laughs> well, pre- <laughs> I don't even. I have no. I think that's actually that. what killed the snack wrap. You might have just. That, I think that was the last snack wrap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, where the hell? Brain. If the snack wrap's back, they got a long chicken tenor in there. Where the hell are the chicken selects? Chicken selects were good. The chicken selects no, were good, but it also... You, you can't. You're getting nuggies, dude. Uh, well, I don't know. That, that you was, can't be going to McDonald's there was moods, to get there was moods, strips, Sometimes, dude, sometimes, sometimes you, you mix it up, nuggies. you get the chicken selects, good cut. The problem I had was that they are just traditional t- chicken strips, and McDonald's was like, uh, actually, they're chicken selects. And it was like $14 for yeah. a five-piece. It's like, hey, what the fuck's going on here? Yeah, this okay? is bullshit. These are regular fucking chicken strips. This should be $7 for a fucking five-piece with fries what? and a drink. Do they have spicy nugs? No. No. They don't. Uh, no, no, no. Certain no. regions. Because, like, certain regions, they still have the spicy McChicken. I love the spicy, spicy McChicken. Was spicy McChicken was fucking fire flames. Wendy spicy nugs are Yeah. Tremendous. On the McDonald's talk, have you guys seen the new uh, McDonald's they put in Bolingbrook, Illinois? No. It's called Cosmix, and it's, like, a smaller snack menu. So I'm guessing that's why they're bringing stuff like this It's back. majority drinks yeah, that they're doing drinks, there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Really? So it's like a bar? No, no I think like it's like a Mick Cafe, smoothie, like a Starbucks yeah. comp. Oh, like a, I don't hate that. It's yeah, a pretty so good it's idea at all. Yeah. They should put it in the fucking oh, Oasis. Oh, wow, McDonald's does yeah. make a good cup of Joe. They do. Yeah, the that McDonald's, McDonald's cantina would also be lit. Unless you're a ninety year old. The one guy China. saying, "Don't talk to me. I haven't had my coffee." And then he goes to McDonald's. He and gets he's like the, the nicest guy ever. Mick Cafe. I speaking of the cantina, I did send a text to. Boys, I saw a Taco Bell cantina in New York City. Was it bumping? Yep. Was it at about I'm, I'm 29th and 7th? Uh, no, it was in between 35th and 55th. But I saw, and I'm not kidding, probably about 150 people I, in, inside. I don't doubt it. Like, place packed out, and then another 100 people waiting to get inside. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it was nuts. What it, time? Uh, what time? Like, 9. It's, no. the, it's the perfect pregame. Say you're going to a concert. <laughs> Say you're going to... A bar to go ask. See, that's sure. true. I've never thought of it that way. I always just thought of it like you're fucking blacked out and you're going in there and getting like a crunch wrap supreme There's and like getting another beer. As well, yeah, but but to actually it, like it was pregame in there it makes sense. Jumping. I assume it smelled terrible. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it, it was junk. People <laughs> farting no, no, and dumping no, in no, there. No, just no, the no. smelliest <laughs> people in New York City. Yeah. Booze Talk about hobos. Yeah, let's go. let's go to the cantina. Yeah, a bunch of mitts. Yeah. My kind of I place. I shower three times a day and are way cleaner than you. Oh! 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 oh. 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 Yeah. I wasn't calling you. Shot at me, call me stupid or something. I wasn't there calling you. Go. I wasn't calling you dirty. I was calling you an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh. Oh. You did. Right. Hey, hey, gentlemen, gentlemen, please let's <laughs> put our swords down, okay? And let's go to next. We see the cosmics here. That looks pretty good. Whoa. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, menu. this is it? Is this the yeah, McDonald's thing? So it is. They have some breakfast stuff. They have a, oh my God, that spicy queso sandwich. <laughs> this looks awesome, dude. It does. This place does look sick. I and their ice cream machines will just Pretzel work. bites? Oh my, pretzel bites, savory hash brown bites? It's like Make an, pops? It's like an Auntie Anne's fuck the yeah. fucking yeah. smoothie Wait, king. The pe- the pretzel what does the uh, snack box oh, consist no. of? Snack are box looks like it's a hearty fruit? mix of thick smoked uh, P- Canadian bacon, <laughs> thick smoked something. Tom, Island pick <laughs> me up. Punch. Up a good point. Why are th- why are some of these items free? They're all free. No, uh, no, they're not. Some of them have price oh, tags. Oh, the drinks are as well. Yeah. Everything says zero to. The up. cookie is two ninety nine. Because it sure lo- they haven't set the. It looks like yet. some oh, of the yeah some cool. of this stuff is what McDonald's actual prices are, and then yeah. they still are deciding what like how much uh, McPops are. Yeah, like a sour cherry energy burst. We gotta uh, yeah we gotta, we gotta figure, figure out. out. Yeah. I mean, this is gonna be a hot item. Yeah. You can't just put it up there for cold cool. brew yeah. frappe. Yeah. Oh, sour cherry a energy churro burst. Churro frap. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Gross. <laughs> What's your deal? This looks sick. All right. I, I'm a huge next fan time, of yeah, Cosmics. Next, next time I see fucking Cosmics, I'm going next. What the hell is Cosmics? How much sugar do you think is in oh. one of the pomegranate oh. hibiscus <laughs> smoothies? Dude. Infinity. They just dump an entire bag of sugar <laughs> yeah. in there. All right, mix in some water. That's yeah. what they do for the sweet tea is that entire jug. You get one bag. like It's like a 10-pound bag of sugar. Pour the whole thing That's in. That's so gross. Yep. Jesus. Next. Ugh. Fuck. 
Ooh. Oh yeah, this uh, this, this has fuck. been going around quite this a bit. Fucking guy, dude. This absolute uh, weirdo uh, <laughs> went on. Uh, Ruby Rose ran into him. He's her number one spender on OnlyFans. He he is a self-proclaimed crypto whale. Uh, yeah, I saw a lot of people saying. Um, <laughs> yeah, awesome. it, guess what, Ruby? He he didn't run into you. Yeah, he, yeah. Found he knew it. where you were going. Yeah. This found. is also it says spent over sixty thousand. That's that's he in spent, one month. Yeah, sixty grand in and a month. And also, I don't know if we have it as the well, phone? but yes. yeah, it came out him set. He, I don't. He got her. I don't know if it. It looked like he got her phone number, so and it wasn't just at her this, OnlyFans account. Yeah, at this ac- encounter, he like prodded her over and over for the phone number, and then she released the texts of. What he was saying. Yeah, and boy, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's a stalker. He was getting yeah, weird. Exactly. Yeah. Also, turns out he was on True Life. I'm addicted to porn about 15 no. years ago. Exactly. Is that real? Yeah, that's real. That's Full awesome. circle. Awesome. Full circle. Wow, good for him making a life out of his porn addiction, crypto good whale for true lifestyle. Life, finding the good ones. Also, yeah. this is just, this is kind of like, a, you know, a PSA to anyone who has an OnlyFans out there. Like, you got to watch out because some of these weirdos will spend a shitload of money on here and then just think, like, you're my fucking girlfriend. Like yeah. we're gonna we're I'm, we're gonna get married, right? I gave you sixty thousand dollars last month. Okay, so I, I you were better. Go a different route there. I <laughs> okay, you so send say, me a fucking jerk off video, <laughs> yeah, please. So crazy. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say find this guy's account if you're a girl and does OnlyFans and just make yeah it try to try to beat yeah. him. Yeah, yeah for um, sure. But then do you want him showing up and being like yeah? I, I would almost want a, I would almost want a number. spending limit. If I were an OnlyFans girl to prevent this type of creep. Yeah, maybe, but in the moment it's probably hard being like, yeah. holy shit, this oh, shit, been this six guy just sent, bucks. sent me a Rolex for <laughs> yeah. a picture of my pussy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus. Can't say, it easy, you can't say that. You can't say that one. I mean, you uh, can if you want. You're just outing yourself as a grade A scumbag. Holy what? Fuck. Why? How many? How many? Uh, what do you guys think's going on on OnlyFans? I was only gonna fans? say, how many times have you done this? Bruce? Never, dude. I've never uh, even touched a hey, Rolex. I'll give you forty-five bucks if you send me a dick rating, please. Um, how, oh, what is Ruby Rose famous from? I don't know. I I'm only- guessing only. Fans. I'm pretty sure she's Instagram famous. She feels a bit like a plant. Wasn't she dating? I don't know. That was Black China. Date one of the Kardashian. That's boys. not her name anymore. What's yeah, her name now? I don't know. I just know it's not. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't get it. Also, um, I like shirt. how his shirt says, yeah. "Yeah, if I die, delete my browser history." Yeah, yeah like, no sweet. shit, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> we get it. This guy's sweet. He's a cool. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't look pants, like an pants are sweet. Scum. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I hate him, dude. Man, you need to get these pants, thing. bro. Yeah, man. And What's that shirt, on? actually. So, Gumby, what was Ruby like in person? Oh, <laughs> whoa! That was that was. That was I mean, ladies ball. He has a beard. Whoa. It was easy. I didn't mean it. Okay. It took me a second to actually understand what you were saying. Say, I didn't know. Yeah, if we were, hadn't been talking about this for 20 minutes already, Bruce. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jeez, Ruby, it's going to be a long home together, eh, boys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might have to Uber. Ruby Rose, is, Ruby Rose is a rapper, but got famous because she was in the uh, Bad and Bougie music video. I thought oh, I recognized so her. <laughs> <laughs> I hate a bad and bougie. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Yep, for sure. Uh, shout out to this guy for being the weirdest fucking guy on the face of the earth. Uh, next. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, this is awesome. Subway introducing footlong cookies that are going to be added to menus nationwide in January. The footlong challenge. Yep. Is going to be diabolical. I don't think this would be that hard. It's no, like, not at it's all. It's like eating speed. It would just be speed. It's like three cookie bars. Yeah, you know, you make a cookie bar, you cut yeah. a whole row. We don't know how thick you these can are. Get, yeah, get, what? Get do it. We don't know how thick these bad boys are. I imagine they're about as thick as the normal cookie. I can't. I don't know if they're doing like a what a couple inch thick, thick cookie. cookie. What they should do a is loaf serve of cookie. it in like a little plastic plate with just like a. Smidge of milk on the bottom of it. That's not a bad idea. That is just like it's naturally dipped into the milk already. Yep. Like, and then you can eat it like a. Or just like they could even do just like the foot long bag, put it in there, and then just like dump. Yes. Dump milk in the (laughs) bottom. Yeah, that'd be sick, dude. (laughs) Slowly. Yeah. Yeah, now we're talking. Give you a spoon. Yeah, exactly. Something to think about. (laughs) I mean, I don't want to fucking run McDonald's business for them, but. Or Subway, excuse me. Same thing. Uh, Um, Yeah. PSA here, uh, don't search foot long cookie on Twitter. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, really? Yeah, I guess. Why? What comes uh, up? Yeah, what I, happened, Bruce? You probably <laughs> already said it a few minutes ago, huh? Um, no, it was, the, it was, I think, the other hole, brother. 
The other hole. He was hole. a foot long cookie in the other hole. PSA, Bro. don't search anything on Twitter. Yeah. That's what yeah you can't don't. search anything on you Twitter. You really can't. I got served pornography, yeah. folks, and I didn't want to. Porn was... Twitter is a powerful box. <laughs> yeah, it is fucking. <laughs> It is out there right now. That is one thing about Elon's Twitter is he is not afraid to just fucking shove you a face full of erect penis or yep. you know, okay, even so if you're, you know, people check- just jerking it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're you're checking on, uh, you know, Juan Soto, maybe going to the Yankees, yeah. and here's this guy oh, with ah, boom. just boom. My bat's harder yeah. than Juan Soto. It, exactly. Yeah. Jer- yeah. Jerking his fucking baloney and... I don't know if it's Why is this on Twitter here? or if it's because we keep fucking talking about it in this office and my phone's just picking it up, but my Twitter has now gotten infiltrated. That's because you just search boobs, 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 boobs. Yeah, bro. Uh, bingo. You might be out of something there, Bill. I think you're right. But no, it, 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 it has always been there. I think it's just more prevalent with Elon's Twitter because people are just hashtagging Juan Soto on jerk-off videos. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Really taking advantage Next of Next way. way. Well, it's a big show. Uh, that's um, former WWE <laughs> great Andre the Giant, a.k.a. Paul White, a.k.a. The Big Show's uh, mm-hmm. theme song. If you, Fantastic. If you didn't know. Um, we have this, I think, from uh, Puberty. Uh, this is what, like, the 20 most popular phrases for, like, I teens think- or some shit like that. Mitt, this is just yeah. what you're sending to the buddies back and forth <laughs> constantly, right? Uh, sus. Bet, yeet, definitely don't say. Salty, definitely say. <laughs> Cap, uh, that's a little phased out. Extra, for sure say. Bussin', I was never into it. Dude, the boys are bussin'. Tonight. Uh, you know, see, like, that just doesn't, that just Keep going, lame. keep going. Uh, bougie, I was never into it. Girls say that a lot. Uh, sheesh, yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> sheesh. You got the drip. Hold on, yeah. say that. Give us another sheesh, Mitt. Sheesh. <laughs> Yeah. That's okay. A good yep. one. Uh, Checks out. Oof is uh, I never really use that. Finna. Oof is not new. Yeah. yeah oof, oof isn't new. Yeah, unless it's an, that unless it's an acronym. Oof. Yeah. That's not. Yeah. That's not. That's not new. Um, Buzz, your girlfriend. Oof. I mean, fucking Kevin McAllister Bingo. saying that in '91. Finna is something that I tried to bring. I think years ago. I'm pumped. It's on this list. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you. I you do remember. Are. You were oh, the you. noted yep. pioneer of Finna. Uh, yep. Definitely always say it, but. Uh, because we're fun to do that. But uh, Simp, say that a lot. Shook, say that a lot. Mid, I don't really say that that much. Yeah, you do. You just be smoking on the mid. Yeah, you oh! pick it up and you're like, oh, fuck, Swing it's that. Mid. Swing that Swing shit. Swing that shit. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, Hold that L, bitch. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no cap. That straight gas, homie. No okay, cap. There you go. <laughs> there that, was good. that was good. Nailed Nailed oh, come on. If Hold you know, you know. Yeah, well. Uh, but yeah, but you also, have to say I Y K E I K. What's NPC? Uh, it's uh, it's like non-playable characters. Well, so I thought like, I thought yeah, so, yeah. but that's definitely not what it stands well, no, for. It it no, it's a new thing. People call other people NPCs. Like so that's what actually what it stands for. Yeah. No, really? yeah. yeah, people are walking popularized. around calling people NPCs. Yeah, yeah. Like yes. you have no that's, purpose. You you just yeah. exist. You're a fucking <laughs> NPC, homie. That's, bitch. That's cool. Say like NPC behavior. I thought it might be like no problem, cuz. Oh, that would be cooler. I've never heard that one. <laughs> you should what? start that one. Yeah. You should. You should. Yeah, you should finish it. Fin- what get about that vibe rolling. check and stand? Vibe check for sure. Stan. Uh, stands basically the way that we use Mark. That's how Tears we use Stan. No, no, no. That is Do you ride. use it? Yeah, I, I have used it <laughs> not, not since I started working here. All. So, like, <laughs> when you're texting the buddies on Friday night, let's say they're at, like, Brothers or something, you'll just be like, vibe check. Uh, Hit yeah. me with a Bob check. Uh, if there's not a lot of action in the group message, <laughs> Bob check. You definitely can put in a yo vibe check or okay. uh, what's another one of these that you can just put in there. We finna hit this shit. Yeah. We finna right. be yeah. bussing tonight, we, boys, or am I salty? God, even hearing myself says it pisses me off. I oh, know, but I'm finna be shook if I take this L. That yep. has definitely oh, came yeah. out of my mouth before. There you I go. I don't Enjoy. doubt it. Next. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> next next time you have like a back and forth with yeah, the buddies and you yeah, screenshot it and please. It in. And use all those words. Yeah. Next. Uh, Beetlejuice's handwriting is immaculate, <laughs> which I don't, I don't doubt. Da- I mean, it does look like it's he cra- is. John Hancock. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Legit. Spe- <laughs> speaking of John Hancock, do you guys know why he signed so big? Why, why is that? Uh, it's not really that interesting. 
Okay. I don't know why. Thanks for bringing right. it up. Nice. No, I nice. Why. Now, I, I can't see what uh, Beetle Geist is, is writing. I, I thought he was just uh, writing Beetlejuice. Yeah, He's That's just writing Beetlejuice over and over again? Yeah. That's all he knows. Well, uh, it's, it's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my handwriting's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he does have, he does have beautiful pen. Gorgeous, yes, gorgeous. Does. You got to respect it. You do. So God. do you, Ty. Good for uh, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I pride myself on having nice penmanship. I know you do. Next. Shout out, Beat. Oh, yeah, I saw. I actually haven't watched this yet. I don't What's remember this? what the caption was. <laughs> He's like some sort of wrestling deal, I assume. Oh, he's, got the in the eye. he's got the powder in the eye. No way. No. The War Games cage. No. Dude. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> that was nuts. <laughs> Does he end up drop kicking? Can, we, yeah, slow? Is that the, Can we go slow just to see? I was going to say, yeah, yeah, we need. So this guy legs oh, head off dude. the ground. Yeah. I mean, what did they think? This is, is a, a pretty person? ballsy maneuver. That's what I said. Did they swap in a bo- like a dump, a crash <laughs> dummy? I think, I think so. No, oh, right there, it's man. gotta be, dude. That dude, guy's he bashes dead. his head off the ground. The head's flying <laughs> off, dude. That's a dummy. Yeah, I mean, he knocked out immediately. <laughs> obviously, I think that guy. Get, I think that guy movement. ends too stiff to be a dummy. I mean, yeah, that's the a human announcer being. legitimately <laughs> saying called nine one one and then saying seriously someone called nine one one is terrifying. Well, that's, I mean, that's part of the gimmick, though. That's indie wrestling, baby. I don't think this is a gimmick. As God is my witness, he is broken in half. Bingo. I was going to say, Mitch, just go back and listen to fucking Jim Ross do a couple. I mean, how many times do you think he said, you know, talking about Taker, like, by God, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He did that literally every (laughs) every Monday night for like 25 years. (laughs) But this guy actually might be dead, to your point. He's genuinely dead. That's why you got to watch out for the powder in the eye. Especially when you're on top of the cage. You do. That's it. Also, you got the guy with the fucking Donovan McNabb Eagles jersey right there. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I like the graph. Yeah, the medic. Dude. <laughs> fucking uh, yellow and black <laughs> Asics, dude. Yeah, those are actually sick shoes. What Fresh as fuck. fuck. Hold on, wait. Powder in the eye. Yeah, keep keep running. The, yeah, that might be a dummy. I, uh, want, I wonder what they try, what they were trying to do I think here. this was it. I think he tries to end up with like a leg drop. Keep running this. Flip them all the way it around. Just, is that is that double M? <laughs> oh, it might be A six. Yeah, no, it might be. He was younger. Could be. That would. I mean, that would make sense. <laughs> the throwback, no name on the back, Steelers jersey. Yeah, I think you can see him say FFS too, which is one of his <laughs> yeah. marquee oh, yeah. lines. Be careful if you're in the indie wrestling. Yeah, exactly. Especially if someone has powder, because you're getting powder in the eye. Next. None done here at all. Oh yeah, this is this, this is pretty fun. This was, what was, what was the, caption? the caption was like fucking Looney Tune, Looney Tune injury yeah. or something like that. Exciting! One, two, three, go! <laughs> <laughs> Exciting. Absolute doof. Yeah, seriously. Exciting! One, two, fucking three, Wiley go. Coyote looking ass. <laughs> the sound it makes too. There's nothing better the than a cell. good bonk. The cell is hilarious. This is like Three Stooges. This happened yeah. in like every yeah. episode of Three yeah. Stooges. And then the other kid, obviously, he's got a fucking brain and is just bashing yeah. it, you know, sideways. He's a, okay, but just to let everyone know, hashtag he is okay, hashtag funny, hashtag funny videos, okay, hashtag good. FYP, hashtag demo day. <laughs> okay, so just to, just so we're that's clear, how you gotta get get the talk algorithm going. Yeah, exactly. This had one point two million likes, so it probably had like twenty million views. He, I mean, look how that's awesome. look how gently that hits his head. <laughs> yeah, yep. taps it. Yep. I wish the amazing. hammer hit it. Oh, yeah. I, 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 thought, I thought he did. The way he reacted, I thought he got clipped. I thought he got knocked out. He didn't. No, he's just a wuss. Yeah, he's just a wussy wuss. I mean, just the mo- that's just missing everything. Looney Tune ass injury, yeah. so yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, be careful if you're doing some demo to a uh, deck like this. Yep. Next, you're not working on your chipping. Right. Oh yeah. Too Uh-oh. bad. Tony's not. Yeah, we'll say he sent it. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Say that for Tony. Is well, there anything after that? Nope. Uh, I mean, I will say, boys, the holidays are here. They are. Jesus. Let Omaha Steaks take the guesswork out of gifting. Shop for carefully curated gift packages that are guaranteed 
to make spirits bright all winter long. Yeah. Go to OmahaSteaks.com and save 50% off site wise. I plus love Omaha you, Steaks so much. <laughs> plus, when you use it. promo code <laughs> THEPOD at checkout, yum, you can yum. get an additional $30 off your order. Whoa, 30 uh, bucks? Yeah, so that's 50% plus 30 bucks. Uh, so, you know, we're. Not we're, paying anything. We're almost. It's free, basically. We're not close. paying anything. We're getting close. We're not free, but we're getting close. Send tender, juicy, butcher's what? cut for wow. Lady wow. Neons. Sounds wow. like grass fed wow. beef. Mouth watering burgers, beef. gourmet beef. jumbo, beef. Franks, Give me frozen, that beef. I want my baby back, jumbo. baby back, baby back. Franks. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I'm talking beef from Omaha State. We're talking frozen hot dogs, folks, or. You can even get easy to prepare meals that are ready in a flash. Omaha Steaks is ready to ship your order right away, so herbie. shop early and beat the shipping rush. Go to omahasteaks.com and use promo code THEPOD at checkout. Visit omahasteaks.com. Take advantage of 50% off uh, site-wide, plus use promo code THEPOD at checkout to get that extra $30 off your order. And the only reason we could do three eyes today is because people who listen. That's right. That's Thank right. That's right. We Thank cannot you, do it without you guys. Sorry, it was late. Yeah, we apologize. Hey, hectic week. Listen, like Connor said, you know, it feels like a Tuesday. It's actually a Thursday. Uh, you know, we were in New York. Sorry about the skeleton crew. You know, it is what it is. Life happens sometimes. That's right. You know, sometimes life happens. You guys know that. Pontiacs know that. I mean. You guys get it. You guys get it. I got a really itchy nose right now. It's fucking driving me insane. I want earlier. Um, yeah, it's nuts. It's pissing me off. I think Is that supposed to, that's supposed to be like good luck or something, isn't it? Really? Itchy nose. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we have all the best. I think it is. Yeah. I think it's uh, good luck. Huh? Um, <laughs> we'll be back next Tuesday. That, yep. You'll hear it on Wednesday. What? Um, and we'll have a full crew of gentlemen here. Yes, we okay? will. And we'll try to, we'll try to give you guys a good show because I know today with the skeleton crew and you know what we covered, a little bit of a light pod fod. Bill apologizes, I was on him. Um, but we'll talk Squid Game. We will talk Squid Game. We'll if talk you Monarch. haven't watched Squid Game or Monarch, please try to watch it because I don't want to hear any spoilers bullshit because we're going to talk about it. Power okay? Force as well. Finish Power Force. Yeah, if you, exactly. If you and, haven't finished and Power Force. Power Book of yeah, uh, Book of Force. Book, Book yeah. of yeah. Bodies. Yeah. yeah, if you haven't finished it, we'll Please, be talking about we'll be that We'll be talking too. about that quite yeah. a bit as well. So appreciate all you guys. Uh, stay safe this weekend. Have a good weekend and we will see you on Tuesday.